You know what's better than a Winnebago? Oh, I get a glass in this. A Winnebago, that's a limousine. Welcome to another episode of the Extra Ordinary Gentleman. Today we discuss camping stories, pairing them with whiskey. Some people haven't been camping here. We'll get to that topic. You may think that we do too many podcasts about whiskey, and you'd be right. But don't think about it too hard, because you're probably not listening to this while you're camping anyway. So, welcome. How are we doing today? Nah. Quick, and then we'll do the uh, music one now. Okay. And then let's pick up. All right, we're just back from our music. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. We have to imagine it. You don't have to. Mm-hmm. So, starting today. So, guys, we're back. Another episode. Yeah. This is the, uh, I think we'll do episode. Uh, one and two of the bourbon trials, and this will probably air next, I believe, mm-hmm. in like two weeks from now. But in a while. For you, it's now. <laughs> it's aired now. We get to do this live, guys. We get to listen. It's so hard to, to keep track of right dates and away. stuff. It's, yeah, and we don't even remember. What I happens. play Zelda while I edit this. <laughs> Just looking, I have a notepad open, looking for areas I have to like reduce the sound of Carter's laugh or something. I am hurt. <laughs> I am hurt. I am shamed. I have been attacked. Just yeah, yep. physically. I have been emotionally and, f- and physically attacked mm-hmm. by this man. Yeah, this man. So I... we're, we're gonna talk about camping, mm-hmm. and originally we we're, we're gonna be camping while we did this podcast episode. Yeah, but it, it didn't end up happening for some reasons. But we still like thinking about it. It's a good topic. Yeah. We're, we're in the summer. Yep. You know, people are going to be camping. Mm-hmm. It's a pandemic. One of the few things you can do is yep. camping while being socially distant. Mm-hmm. Giving Bigfoot COVID-19. <sighs> yep. Exactly. As he deserves. <laughs> As he deserves. As we can wipe out all the cryptids by giving them COVID-19. Mm-hmm. Locked his, or the Loch Ness, Loch Ness monster will uh, be... Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Mothman. Uh, yeah. Chupacabra. Uh, yeah, Chupacabra. Snuffleupagus. Uh, Snuffleupagus. Snuffleupagus. <laughs> that, he, he's real. We've seen him. <laughs> he often per- takes the form of a butterfly uh-huh. and follows us. Yeah. Yeah, Snuffleupagus a- from, you know, Winnie the Pooh. Mm-hmm. I felt bad yesterday because I think I, I must have run him over. I was on my is way. Snuffleupagus from Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. I don't know. I don't I don't know if it is or not. Snuffleupagus is from Winnie is the it? Pooh. I ran up. I didn't run over, but a butterfly flew into oh, my no, windshield. I don't think it is. <laughs> that you was know, the butterfly. I killed the butterfly. Yeah, it's it, the heffalumps. It didn't just splat on my windshield. It hit it and then bounced off. Oh. And then I saw, I'm like, oh man, that was a big butterfly. You managed to wound a butterfly. Would, not just yeah. kill it instantly. Yeah. <clears throat> and I looked behind me and I actually saw it. A little, like a, well, not little, like, big ah. insect falling from the sky. I'm like, oh, it's In too bad. Of an angel. Because I, I've, I rarely ever road kill anything. You know, I've road killed one cat. That was it. That's probably worse than I have done. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Snuffleupagus is from uh, Sesame Street. Yeah. No, you. I never watched Sesame we were Street, off. to be honest. I See, I knew it was. Except for from I, that. I, I watched Elmo. But yeah. it doesn't count. Big Bird. That definitely no, counts. Bird. That's you Sesame watched, Street. I, Big Bird. No, Elmo has his own TV show. He wasn't on the regular Sesame Street. Yeah, he had Elmo's World. Right. But which was from Sesame Street. For real? Yes. That was his own TV show. No, it was like a sub thing was from it? the show. I'm pretty sure it was his own TV show. Nah. I watched Sesame Street a little bit. You're going to find that out too. Mm-hmm. Wow, so. Google. I did, all we need to know is I defended the Snuffleupagus mm-hmm. and knew it wasn't Winnie the Pooh, obviously. <laughs> okay, Elmo's World was made in 1980, 1998. Mm hmm. And there was 11 seasons of it. It's own TV show. Uh, that's what it looks like, I guess. Facts. Facts. Dumb. Well, so so I think 
you know, freaking Elmo, <laughs> freaking Elmo. Getting into this uh, camping, we're gonna share some of our personal experiences, some stories, mm-hmm. uh, just general things about camping. Uh, nothing too in depth. Probably not gonna give very good tips if we do give tips, because <laughs> <laughs> we've all had our. As you probably will know from these stories, we are not people you want to uh, take advice from. <laughs> so, bring a knife. Bring a knife. Don't die. That's, I was. I was wanted to see what just what would happen if I went out into the wilderness by yourself. By myself. Okay. With just a knife. Yeah, that, I think it'd it. be. I think it'd be interesting. How long? How how? Oh, so you're just gonna go as long as you can. As long as I can. Okay. Yeah. So there's not like a three day. There, there's always gonna be a way out, okay. but I'm not gonna give myself any hospitality, you know, privileges. So like you're I'm not saying, bringing in anything except for the clothes that I'm wearing. You want to you want to plan just like a trip knife. by yourself? Yeah. Like up to the boundary waters. Are you selecting yeah. the uh, or like, location or somebody? I'm else? selecting the location. Or like okay, so gunflint. Yeah. And you're gonna do like honestly, I want to go to Canada. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna do like dispersed camping in Canada. Yeah, yeah. And you're just gonna use that knife to kill mm-hmm. all of your food. Necessarily, no. Or I, to get your food. You can make yeah, traps was, to kill. Well, the first food. thing I was gonna, in my mind, I haven't thought this out like super well, but my in my mind, the first thing I was gonna make was tensile rope-like substances out of vines or grass or roots and such okay. to create snare traps to get squirrels and small rabbits oh, other small mammals i would have just used it as a spear put the knife on a stick and throw it as a spear i mean i would have used the knife to maybe whittle a spear uh-huh or used it tied it to a yeah and just stabbed a fish mm-hmm. i don't know i feel mm-hmm. like rust logic doesn't apply here though <laughs> that's not rust logic that's just it's the first thing you get is a spear that's big brain big brain <laughs> that's big brain well so that's yeah that's a good goal to keep yeah. and Maybe do at some point. Oh yeah, totally. Oh, oh. and I and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna bring a bottle of whiskey too. That way, when I fail, I won't feel as bad about it. Because you'll be buzzed. More more than just dehydrated. Buzzed. Buzzed. Yeah, you'll be you'll be dehydrated yeah. and defeated. <laughs> Starving. <laughs> Better open this up. Weaken the legs. <laughs> it'll get you through. The whiskey will be the final nail, but <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll be <laughs> liver failure never to what a way anyone. To go. What a way. <laughs> well, so that yeah. So I don't know how we want to do this. If we want to. One person wants to take the lead and talk about experiences, and then after their experience, go get their bottle of whiskey that they had selected to represent how they feel whiskey should be represented. In I want to go first. Do it. I've never been camping before <laughs> in any Perfect. way. All right, next Perfect. we're gonna go to Zach. Yep. No, um, <laughs> no, let's start. Let's start from the bottom because now we're here. Mm. Yeet. Nah, yeet. So Carter, what can you tell us about camping experiences that you may have had, even the slightest? hint of camping uh and then recommendations uh stories uh, and then finally wrap it all up recommendation go real camping because camping in your backyard is stupid <laughs> uh i will say uh in not in like a week or two i think it's like <laughs> don't make fun of me i'm having a hard time thinking uh in, not this weekend, but next weekend, uh, me and uh, three. While this is happening, friends, do you mind pouring me some of that uh, EH or uh, Elijah, Elijah Craig, Craig barrel, proof? barrel proof? Yeah. Okay. Well, yes. Uh, do, we, do we want a <laughs> uh, a cork pop on that? I think it deserves it. I've okay. never had it yet. This is the first time the cork's been open, so it's a fresh cork. Oh, Ooh. dang! Is that a nine? That was loud, yeah. Uh, but basically, we're gonna we're going up to Tofty. We're gonna camp. We're gonna do some mountain biking. So that will be uh, my first taste of somewhat real camping. Okay. Uh, so I will say that I will have. Are you staying in a tent? No, I'm staying in a hammock. Okay, hammock. Uh, I'm good. What's the um? What's the numbering on that? This is the Elijah Craig. Uh, B520 batch that I just recently got, in case you were wondering. Yeah. So, okay, so that's uh, so that's two weeks from now you're going to camp in Hammock. Yep, Hammock Camping in Tofty, Minnesota. Uh, then we're going to ride a mountain bike trail from Tofty to Lutzen as a day trip. We're going to come back, do some more camping. It's going to be sweet. <laughs> it's going to um, be lit. It's going to be lit. Uh, 
the only time that I have done any sort of, well, I guess, I would, there was the one time I made a fort in my basement. Uh huh. Does that count? No. Okay. Uh, I slept in a tent outside in my cousin's front yard once. It's on the yard and it's in a tent. It counts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was woken up by like, cars drag racing yeah. down the street. <laughs> I, that happens uh, deep, sure. deep in the mountains. Yeah, you'll, you'll hear the uh, you'll hear uh, the um, theme song to Initial D, <laughs> and then you'll just start hearing the engine revs and the roars. And <laughs> like, uh, the native, the eight of M twos and Supras uh, will always, you know, they yeah. do their morning calls. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, you they might throw in like a R32 here and there. Yeah, or here and there. A GTR, you know, yeah. some, some type of GTR or something. Yep. A little bit more. And it all gets drowned out by the 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 horrible Subaru. And then, no, and, and, then, and then it all gets even more drowned out by the, the stupid Honda kids <laughs> with the fart can exhaust on his little piece of crap Civic. Mm -hmm. They'll still win races, though. That's I know. That's the thing. Because they're still better than a, so a lot of, car, of, mm. of actual design to be race cars. So I, don't, I, don't, I don't mean to cut in, but... I. Sorry, this, camping, yeah. This well no no no, no. this is the, <laughs> actually more so off track. This is Elijah Craig barrel proof, the B five twenty. It's really good. This is really good. It's really good. It drinks really light for a one twenty seven. Mm -hmm. But that wasn't sorry. That's okay. Continue. Well there are my camping experiences mm -hmm. and our stories. Okay. Um, um so I know more about camping than I did, so I can at least survive in the woods. Yeah. It's good. good some point until i starved <laughs> until i what's starved. your favorite camping food like you know. oh straight up beans that's it baked beans. Or... yeah baked beans yeah. okay just baked beans baked beans and hot that, that's like that's your dinner uh that's what you're eating or like what no nah, i'd say baked beans and hot dogs okay sure. beans and pranks yep. yeah that just sounds so good it's traditional camping i, I, I approve that. Yeah. i get that yeah. you, like you know that. you go on like you go on a nice hike come back Start a fire or like you know throw them, throw the baked beans over the fire, crack that bad boy open, you just eat them right out of the can, mm -hmm. you know, cause why not? <laughs> no one's there to judge you. Might as well. Not clean dishes. You're right. Just not clean dishes. Mm -hmm. Just look like a slob. <laughs> Been in the same clothes for three days. Yeah, I smell like, Just smell terrible. Mosquitoes are everywhere. You're spraying yourself down with you're, bug spray, so you smell like that. You're just muddy. You're just gross. You're ready to die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't even imagine. I mean, I mean, I can't imagine. We can imagine. I've done it, but the smells I had, like, yeah, just not bathing for seven days, and then you you get back into a semblance of society. Like the first restaurant you go back into, just to, like something this good. This is nice. You're like, this is this nice. Perkins and then, is and really then the waiter, the, the waiter, the waitress is like, "Hi, how can I help?" <laughs> <gasps> oh, oh, you, you, how can I help you? <sighs> oh. Waters are waters for everyone. Okay. <laughs> As, as they go back into the kitchen, you hear, <laughs> Jeez. That almost, I mean, that actually kind of happened. We did have, we went back, it was like, it was a um, a general store that also had a breakfast joint in it, Ooh. in a valley in Colorado, and we hadn't showered or bathed for seven days. There was which, six. Which trip was this one? Was this the one with uh, the Nick went on? Yeah, Nick, Jack, okay. Henry, those guys. And, um. Henry, the eldest among us, was like, do you guys know how bad you smell? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm like, I don't, actually. I, I, I can't. Like, because you're so used to it. No, yeah. You just don't you're know. You're used to your own smell. Yeah, but, but kind of when you walk into that air-conditioned environment, you kind of start getting that used to it. And you're like, oh, it, I start smelling worse and worse by the second. And you go and take your order and you smell the food. And you're like, oh, that sounds, smells really good. And, you, and then you, you turn away, smell yourself again, <laughs> and it hits you. You're like, I smell worse than the dump i took in the oh, woods no. it's bad it gets bad so i i would recommend wherever you are camping make an effort to find a water source to just rinse yourself in i, I Scrub imagine your pits please camping um in washington and oregon has made me appreciate the amount of camping sites that minnesota has that are just like island based or mm -hmm. on on the you know the edge of a lake or something uh, yeah. and you take for granted that immediate water source for mm -hmm. either just like getting some water for bathing or yep. 
uh, if you're properly filtering it yeah, for drinking, drinking. Yeah. and how much easier that is. And you don't actually have to think about water as much as you would be like for us when we had to think about it when we're going to Oregon and Washington. Mm -hmm. So, but it's something that, you know, uh, we've all, I think been through. And I, I took that for completely for granted. I think the first time that we went out of state, uh, non lake camping. Yeah. Cause that was something that we always did was, you know, we had the, the big crest liner with the inboard, you know, V8 that my grandpa mm -hmm. had, and we take it up to Capitogama, uh, with Edwards and Brooklyn and Dawson, uh, would be there, you know, and, uh, take that and do some island camping, really some solitary camping those were, those style. relaxing times. It'd be like a week. Yeah. That was well, the thing for the summer, bad. you know, yeah. you, get, you get out of school, June, look forward to that. Get out there and cap talking. We've gone for a week and just doing that. And know, June it's, here it's in Minnesota, so up north, is beautiful. It's perfect. Like the it's only the, the mosquitoes time. start coming out, but they're not like horrendous yet. Now they are. Now they are. Oh, in our July. Mid midway to July, and it's actually it's not even that bad because it's so hot right now specifically. Oh, you need to go in my backyard. Oh yeah. Yeah. I could already tell in the backyard. In the yeah. front yard. That's why I was well. trying to hurry up and get out of the. You know the driveway quick mm -hmm. and just be like we need to get inside now before yeah, they we come. gotta go they're coming yep. the swarm all right so since uh carter detailed to us what he has and hasn't done you should reveal what you have brought what you think is a great camping whiskey i would like to ask is this something that you think that you would bring with you or do you think this is just a good example uh, no, this is something I'd bring with me. Okay, so you're purchasing this to take... If, if I are had you, it, Are yeah. you going to purchase this and take it up on your trip? If I could find weeks? it, yes. I'm interested in what it is you mm -hmm. selected. All right, so you go get that, and we'll discuss. And so don't you ruin your glasses, dude, almost. Anyway. Sunglasses. There should be a report on how fast people go through sunglasses yep. up in the summer. I've had those sunglasses for like five years. Are they actually glass or plastic? Uh, plastic Not glasses then. Yeah. It doesn't count. Plastic sis plastics. Um I I don't know. I've always been a advent of plastic sunglasses, right? The cheapest you could possibly buy, right? Yeah, I, I, yeah. But yeah. then I don't know. I'm starting to come around because what happens is I actually do keep them for long enough where they're obviously worth the price, but they get plastic lenses get so scratched so easily. I mean, you put them in the same keys or the same pocket as your keys, they're ruined. You put them in your pockets? The sunglasses? Yeah. Yeah, when I'm, you know, they're either when I walk inside and I'm wearing a hat or something, and I usually, usually I flip them up to my forehead on my okay. head. But then they get gross because I have hair grease or hair product. So then I either take it off and, and hang it from my butt pocket or just slide it into my left pocket when I got to just do something with my hands real All right, quick. So don't tell us yet. We are, mm -hmm. we see it, but like the, these guys don't know who it is. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. So, all right, sunglasses, interesting. It's Carter's back. Mm -hmm. He got his bottle. Yep. This is mine now. It's mine now. He, he spit it and he's got COVID mm -hmm. in that thing now. All right. So, what did you bring us? Lagavulin, Nick Offerman edition. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. I'm very excited. Yep. Yummy. Nice, uh, nice smoke to it. Yep. Cork pop. Weak. It's an old cork. Weak sauce. It's a lot it's of old. teas, not a lot of yeah. show. I gotta finish my. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, the stench. Stench. Oh, it, oh, it stinks. stinks. Nice, nice and good. good. <laughs> I love this Nick Offerman. Very tasty. I gotta get a mic stand that's easier to get out of this chair. I just want to get booms. I think we will. We we'll go. We we'll go into that other room. I think we definitely need to. Booms, Hopefully baby. The sound quality will improve. Thank you. And um, so we have technically recorded with this bottle, but it never made it on the air. This is the Nick Offerman um, mm. collaboration he did with Logbull, and obviously, eleven year age statement, forty-six uh, percent. It's a little bit more subtle than the 16, the mm -hmm. famous 16 yep. um, that he almost, you know, made famous, at least for, I think, from Parks and Rec, mainstream yeah. people, mainstream yeah. whiskey drinkers that, oh, 
They're like, whoa, Ron Swanson drinks this? I have to. Oh, the nose. Yeah, I, I really like the Nick Offerman edition. I think it's, it's not my favorite of Log, but it's... Well, how it's, much is, it's it's a better value, I think. Right? This is 53? I think, no, I... Mm. I thought this was a little so, bit more expensive. So before the tariffs went in, pro, in place, and Lagavulin, I think for the most part, I've seen steady at $83 about... Um, some stores are still at the original price, like seventy. Mm-hmm. But this was either the same pricing as the sixteen, or I think in some cases ten dollars less. Uh, around here, though, mm-hmm. and I do still know a store that I think might still have a bottle or two. I told you about this. Did? Carter's like super excited all mm-hmm. of a sudden. I'm hype. I want so, it. I'll tell you. Yeah, I'll tell you after. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it is? Just remind <laughs> me. Um, I, mean, I do have a second bottle of this in my room that when this does go out, uh, I have a reserve. God, it's so good. But I, but I say that I think this was either the same at seventy three or ten dollars mm-hmm. less, about sixty. Mm-hmm. So I, I thought I remembered it being uh, priced less, but they're very comparable to each other. I think a lot of people are and trying to scalp yeah. a little bit higher. Oh. Yeah, and also yeah, the, because of the Ooh. Parks and Rec, it's more popular. I think right now when it, when they released it. At least when these, they these released flew off, it, these it flew was... off. It, it's a smaller run, yeah. but they flew <clears throat> off the shelves. Yeah, I don't in comparison. know. I, doubt, I, I have not heard anything that this, I'm assume, I mean, I think everyone assumes this is a just a limited edition, mm-hmm. you know, and it's not going to stick around because we haven't seen it come back. Obviously, it's been a year now, maybe? A year and a half, I think. Has it? Okay. Something like that. Yeah, so it's probably not, it's not coming back. I feel mm-hmm. like he might do another collaboration. I would hope so. Line. That would be amazing. Because, At least, like, because that like, would... I think it would make every batch, so to speak, if it is a batch, special in its own right. Yeah. Um, I would totally collect those. That'd be so awesome. Mm-hmm. Just totally like collect those. Every Offerman edition, it has a different age statement every Buy time. Buy two, open one. Yeah, oh it'd be so good. I I have not had the eight years, so I cannot, you know, say a hundred percent. But I don't. There is not a bad log of one. Not a bad log of one at all. The twelve year cast strength is phenomenal. Mm. I was I was thinking about purchasing the the eight year because it's I just don't you just don't know yeah I've well, never I, seen was, anyone buying that yeah, it's when, always when a I was 16. reading like reviews on it they're like oh you should spend the extra whatever twenty thirty on the on the sixteen because but they're like but it's got everything that the sixteen has but just like milder but how much milder is the sixteen is milder no, no the, the eight the eight's, eight's milder. milder the eight is less punch I guess less mm, flavor okay than the sixteen. It's one of those things I feel like you got to know. You got to know. So, so you sad, sad, out. I didn't buy it, sadly to say, the eight. But well, I mean, we have another chance tomorrow. Yeah, we do. So, what do we think about Carter's? Um, Is a great pick. I think yeah, I agree. Nice and smoky. It's sit by the campfire. Yep. Sip on it. Yep. A sc- I think a smoky scotch. That's the. It is like the quintessential camping mm-hmm. you get those meats that you're you know you're cooking yep. the meats when you're camping you get the smoke from the fire that just clings to your clothes yep. and then that embodies camping the i like this too this, this tastes a lot better when you're after like a hard day of like you know usually you're going right. into the when you're camping you go in the woods you get find wood, you find a dead doing a hiking you know, tree you, you fell it or you go to hike, filming some, and you come back, Bigfoot documentary, yep, and you're hungry, right? So you're cooking dinner, and like Dylan said, mm-hmm. it just mixes well, so and well. it stands up to anything. With, yeah, it does. Yeah, I, 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 have, I have good memories of well, Logan Bolin because we. Mm. But that that brings uh, as one of the stories that we had, or I had uh, that you and me were on the trip would have been the the Washington trip last year, mm-hmm. uh, slash Oregon, I should say that I did. I bought Logan Bolin sixteen. Mm-hmm. And it, you know, that was the perfect, perfect whiskey for it. Mm-hmm. And we finished it off, I think, on uh, in Oregon by um, uh, the lake, Crater Lake. Crater Lake, uh, in one of the forests when we were camping up on that. We hill. finished it that night? I think we did. We were watching other guys. Yeah, and Tropic Thunder. <laughs> and Tropic Thunder, we finished <laughs> that thing. That was, that was a great that night. That was great. I remember, I, I vividly remember that because... I made a, I was a little tipsy and I wanted to see like, I, I wonder what this looks like when you spit it into the fire. <laughs> so wow. I had like three quarters of my glass. That so was the Knob Creek you spit in. Are you sure? 
I don't think you would have wasted sixteen because oh, the, the, I totally would have. The creek was the, pretty. The, the the creek was one twenty pr- or approved, so it was hotter anyways. Mm. Maybe I don't know. But I remember, oh, such beautiful colors. That was I, I, the last quarter of my glass. I just I didn't drink it. I just put it all in my mouth. And I just spewed it out into the fire. Yeah, it was Brooklyn. It was Blues Brooklyn, you and, and greens. I. And yep. I've never seen a purple fire before. You've never That's seen a purple peak. fire before? <laughs> yeah. You ever, no, burn, you ever burn copper? No. In fire? No. It does the exact same thing. Does, does it? it? It's awesome. Hmm. If you find, um, I'm pretty sure it was copper. Mm-hmm. But if you find like old copper wiring... Or just like um, I thought you were supposed to, supposed to put something inside the copper tube and burn it. Mm, like it was copper and something else. No, it was just I think it's just straight copper. Is it? Okay. Yeah, because you can also buy ones that like they're like rainbow things. They do other color. Yeah. Well, I've seen those. It's it's like it's like you go to the store and you buy like it's like rainbow fire or something like that, and you th- you throw it in. It's basically just a bunch of copper. Mm-hmm. And it and to when entertain it, those three year olds when you're camping. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I always. When I was a kid, my dad would always buy those poop snakes fireworks. The poop yeah. snakes are actually sweet. Uh-huh. It was a classic. <laughs> I kind of want to just get a bunch of those and throw them in the yeah, fire. Yeah, poop snakes and fire bo- or smoke bombs. That was like... I mean... And in Minnesota, those are the only fireworks you can legally have. Well, somebody we says, got... buy fireworks. And yeah. You get snakes yeah. and yeah. smoke bombs and you're like... What's what's the line from, from Joe Dirt? We got sparklers and, and <laughs> snakes and that's it. That's, that's it. it. Got no zip, zippies, do dos, do don'ts. You know, I, got I want some of those screamers. You ever know? You know what those screamers are? No. Yeah. You light well, them off and they go, oh, they yeah, yeah. fly those up awesome. into the, the air Love and they those. just scream the yeah. whole time. Panzer is just dying. One, you yeah. Know? yeah, poor guy. He was fine well, like five minutes ago. Anyways, so, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um. So Zach, do you, you or me? Who wants to go first? I want to go next. Do you? Okay. You'll see why? Yeah. What with what I picked, but. So my also the camping memory, I guess. Um, uh, kind of not really spooky, but we, I, my favorite like meal. What it, we were in, um, Crested Butte, uh, Colorado. So Crested Butte's very beautiful uh, later in the summer because the flower is a special kinds of flowers that bloom during that time of year. And Crested Butte is not like the mountainous parts of Colorado. It's it's a little more hilly. They're just big hills, <laughs> and so the hillsides and the scapes tall grass it's usually just you know green you know it's whatever it's a big hill and then boom august hits it's like it's, just it's like the sound of or the um sound of, music, sound of music you know like with the edelweiss popping up it's not actually edelweiss in colorado but you know it's just purples <laughs> and reds and vibrant yellows and it's so beautiful um the fields are so we nine. stayed in uh aspen forest around there and we had we were this is kind of glamping we, we weren't we were sleeping outside in hammocks on the ground we weren't like RVing, but we uh, we were cooking with propane. We were we cheated. Okay, we did have a fire, but we were cooking with propane. We made these delicious burgers, cheeseburgers. Oh, those! That is the best cheeseburger I've ever had. The Mainly because it, it was the only thing I ate that day, really. Because before it took all day to get there, we couldn't stop. So yeah. we just had like snacks, and you get there, it was night. We had a fire going, so we're making cheeseburgers. And I, I see, I, we have me and my, my friend Jack, we're cooking and we have these headlights on so we can see the color of the meat so we don't over over undercook. And we look out, and a, or I looked out into the darkness and I see these eyes peering back at me. I'm like, crap, there's something here. <laughs> like, these are big eyes. Like, they're, but they're low to the ground. I'm like, I wonder if something's stalking us. You oh, know? snap. I'm like, guys, what is that? I just shout, like, guys, there's something over there, like in the prairie, in the, in the tall grass. They're like, what? Where? So everyone like gets up from the fire, turns their headlight on. I'm like, I don't see. I'm like, there's eyes. Like I was like almost like too stunned to be like, look. And then and then finally someone saw it. He's like, what is that? And he like he wasn't scared at all. I'm like, uh, this is gonna be wimpy, isn't it? And he's like, it's a fox. <laughs> It's it was fox. just a look. It's like a teenage fox. It was not even that big. No but fox. The eyes look so big because you know, teen you know, teenage animals have bigger eyes than their adult counterparts. They gotta and, ask something though. Yeah. What did it say? Yeah. Um, <laughs> first it went nee 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 nee, and then ah he ah he ah he, <laughs> and then it went ah oh, 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 and then we just floated into the sky <laughs> and never came back. It, it ascended. <laughs> it ascended into fox heaven. <laughs> And became Star Fox. It became Ascendant, and it just was yeah. like, Hello, Papa. Hello, Papa. So, and that's how Star it Fox. is not your yep. time. And that and night, uh, like another night that we had, we drank this whiskey. Let me get it. Ooh, I like one that has backstory. 
Is this something that you did with Dylan, or is this a different night? No, this is. I think this what he's referring to is when Jack, Nick, and him were out. Oh my <laughs> god! Did we? Oh my! You guys oh are gonna. I, you're not gonna be shocked when I pick mine, but uh, oh, the good great. news is none of us have the same. Price. Okay, but I kind of, I kind of figured. <laughs> so like when I pick, I, when I grabbed that, because like. I was the idiot who had never been camping before mm-hmm. and thought that I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to pick yeah. freaking Yukon Jack. Like pick a, Yukon like Jack. A, like a retard. I had to help this guy and try to look for it a total today. <laughs> Shut up. I was trying my best. I did not know where it is. I knew that it would well, not be in the whiskey section. It's good for you that they were sold out somehow. Yeah, which is good. Yukon Jack. Yeah, of the, the trash Which, by liqueur. the way, is not a whiskey. Thank it you, Dylan, as I figured that out. Liqueur. I understand that. So this is the less subtle older brother of what... I uh, love that we're doing the 16 amp to the 11. Yeah, I know. That that, that's why I wanted to go next. Um, we're doing the Lago in 16. Less subtle older brother of uh, Carter's pick, the oh. Nick Opperman edition. This is my... F- f- and it isn't my favorite scotch, but this is up there with like... the Because the, it, it it's only so good because it, it also aligns with some of my best memories, you know. Okay, so, but what about... So you, you really like that. I really like For the this. scotch. Yeah. What about your Glen Farkless? How no, does this the... is way better than Glen Farkless. Well, I understand it's like better, but like I mean, it's it's also two different regions, right? Yeah, well, I'm, yeah, this is PD Isla. Glen yeah. Farkless is te- Highland. Te- technically Highland, and it's that's as different as this between your Yukon Jack, mm-hmm. essentially compared. <laughs> but I mean, I, I, I like both, but Glen Farkless is not my favorite. I, I only really wanted Glen Farkless because yeah, two no. reasons. One, it was I've heard it's really good, you know, value for what right. it is. And second, my favorite scotch before, or still kind of is in memory, or I haven't had, I only had it once, was the Yamazaki, the original 12 year. Okay. From Japan. Um, we found that today. For, yeah, for what, 120? Uh, 99. Was it a 12 year? It's supposed to be 12 year. Yeah, the 12 year was 99. The 12 yeah, year was, okay. ne- well, it was 100 there's a total, and then it was. There's a, there's a 12 and an 18, which I've never ever seen the 18. No, didn't see the 18. it was a 12 year. Yeah. The 12 yeah. year was yeah. at 10. Top 10. Yeah. What? Yeah, was that both? Total it, in. It was at top to it might have been at total. I saw it at total. Um, I think it was in the, the case though. No, well maybe I, I think I saw it its own shell. Anyways. Way. The the Yamazaki is very comparable to a Highland Scotch, but it's got lots of nutty flavors too. I but mean, at a hundred dollars it's, it's not it's, it just isn't worth a hundred bucks. Right. Yeah. It, it just isn't. No one I'm <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you everyone right now listening, do not buy the Yamazaki twelve year for a hundred dollars. Buy you do. buy the Glen Farkless twelve year. I was interesting. So I, and the reason I say this is because I was watching our favorite YouTube channel, Whiskey Tribe, and they were talking about the Yamazaki. And Rex was like, well, hold on one sec. Can he grab the the Glen Farkless 12? Okay. And he drank that way faster than the Yamazaki. And that almost hurt my feelings. So I was like, is, is Glen Farkless better than the Yamazaki from this guy? I don't think so. When I when I did buy the Glen Farkless 12, I didn't So it's not it. better, but for the price. You yeah, no, yeah. So I, okay. I will say. I was doing some research on the Glen Park list. We didn't yeah. get the 16 in our glass. What are we doing? I know. What are we yeah, doing? Yeah, I'm sorry. Hold on. I want to do the cork pop, but... Well, I did also stop him because I was... Oh, yeah. You may continue. Um, I, uh, because I love whiskey that has memory. I was... It is also... It's it's just something that makes it so much better. This has... I, I feel like Lager Bowl in 16 is probably one of those that has the most, like... Um. Like, people have the most stories that links this whiskey to some event in their life. And for me, it's camping, you know, with friends and stuff. Definitely. And it's just, it's one of those whiskeys that uh, improves the moment. Well, it doesn't make it. Whiskey doesn't make the moment. No. It shouldn't make the moment. But it definitely... Did you say it should or shouldn't? It shouldn't. Okay, good. <laughs> it's like... Well, I, I, we should, gotta... <laughs> I should say, I should say it's... Whiskey is not something that is... Needed it, to require to make memories. Exactly. But it does add and can, you know, really impact a, a certain memory and improve it's, on that. It's just like eating a specific food or having, like, something like that specific smell that you get from, like, your grandmother's place or something like that. Like, it's the same kind of, like, just in, intensity that you mm-hmm. kind of get from it that. It smells sweeter off the nose than the 11. It does very sweet i suppose for me it's like a, it's toastier oh. 
taste toastier too. <laughs> oh, but like what I was it's saying, almost about, brings a tear to my eye about that Glenn Farkless. <laughs> is um, me and my dad. I, so my dad is not a. He likes scotch, mm-hmm. but he's not a whiskey guy. He's not a whiskey guy. Okay. He enjoys scotch. Um. But he doesn't like any other region other than usually Highland. Mm-hmm. He does. He dislikes peat with a passion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I was like, okay, well, we have to check out Glen Farkless because mm-hmm. he usually buys uh, Glenlivet or Tomatin or something like that. Yeah. And I was like, oh, well, Zach gave us this Glen Farkless and I really liked it. Mm-hmm. Um, and so there's a 10 year, there's oh, a 12 year. So good. And I think it was a 17. Yeah, it goes tw- uh, 10, 12, 15, 17. 20, 21 is, and then there's 25 that's that, that's like a special edition and is, then af, beyond that they have um what are they called anniversary dates where yeah. it's like 1987 okay. 1992 1997 is it the 15 year know? that's the cast strength or is it its own thing 15 years the, the 15 cast. is the cast uh oh no 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 that's called the uh Glenn Farkless 105 105 and it's it, it, I don't know why they call it 105 it's not 105 proof they just call it the 105 what's the proof on it I'll have to double check Right. Well, well, he's doing that. Yeah, but I would. I want to. I'm interested to try the 17 mm. or the um, 21 year. Yeah, I would just be interested. I know it's a little bit expensive. And it's kind of spendy, but I feel like it would just kind of broaden that because I've never had something that's been aged that long, at least not in a blend. What's the oldest statement whiskey that you've had? Is uh, it the is it the Lager Rule in 16? It might be the Lagavulin 16. Okay. That technically had an age statement on it. Right. <clears throat> um, and that's it, a, that's a still a very respectable. But the Lagavulin 16 is like. It's bomb. It's it's bacon wrapped in smoke, wrapped mm-hmm. in sugar, wrapped yep. in just sea. And it's just yep. amazing. Uh, oh, just, yeah. But in the Glenn Farkless 105 is 120 proof, 60%. Holy Rap. And that is that just off the quick articles, but it, it won a couple of best bang for your buck. Did you happen whiskeys. to see a price on that? Uh, no, I, I've never seen it in person. Well, I told you that they, was... had, they had it at um, Ace. Did, oh, yeah, you did say that. Yeah. Yeah. It's time to get it, I guess. I may have to we'll keep um, an eye out for it tomorrow. Well, I mean, I was gonna because I saw that twenty-one year. At, I did see that twenty-one also, yeah. At, uh, I mean, it's actually it says it's at Total Wine, but not at the one we went to. It's ninety dollars. Is that the one in Bloomington? Uh, ninety dollars is not terrible for cast strings. Uh uh-uh. I have the twelve-year Lager one. <laughs> no, it's there. Which the closest is... one is Allen, Texas. Yikes! Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm good. So the Ace is probably for yeah, to- yeah for Total. Aces. I mean, um, the Lager one twelve year is. For me, I, I think the flavors are not as refined as the 16, um, but it does make up for it in that proofing, which I think is a 57 point mm. something. Um, that is a classic. I think I overspent a little bit on that. I think I paid 150, and I think I saw a few at total for 120-ish. Yeah. Um, but that's, what was that? That's a dog. Okay. Yeah, the, the pop outside the door here is why he's he's sad right now. He's I guess. fine. He's not being abused. He just wants in. He just wants in. He's like, "Can I drink? Can I lap up your whiskey?" <laughs> Panzer. Panzer the dog. Well, so yeah. Anyways, mm, oh, I so good. So sixteen. So you said this. This is like. Is this one of the whiskeys that gives you memory? Oh yeah. Your memories when you. Oh yeah. <clears throat> okay. Good I'm, times, good times just flood back into my head whenever when I take the first sip. I don't even need to have. Like, I, you don't even need good memories for this. I don't even well, need memories. Well, to know I mean, I don't. Memory. I don't even need to have had this. Yeah. It, to know in it's the memory, for, yeah. but to know mm-hmm. that like this is perfect for sitting around a campfire. Same with the eleven year, um, the Offerman edition. Mm-hmm. Um, but like I can just, I I can like imagine like you know sitting around. Like even even Bonding memories of like this, myself yeah. like sitting around a campfire. Yeah. Not like before any of like being able to drink or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Just like with friends, 
sitting around a campfire, enjoying yourselves, you know, just that smell of smoke. I feel bad for and... tainting you right now, because that is something, it's very fun to drink this for the first time in that environment. Uh, I, do but feel, I do feel bad about that, yeah. Yeah. That I've had that, there. I've had this way before, yeah. though. Oh, there you go, okay. That's not our fault. Yay! Because this, this, I mean... <laughs> it's his fault, not yeah. your fault. Oh, okay. Because, I mean, when you reach for this bottle now, it's like, you're automatically, for me, it goes back to either the time that we, I think I had it in Colorado the first time, um... Henry and Jack and Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. You it wasn't the same time you no, were there. But. but and then the next time after that was probably the first time I bought this bottle when Brooklyn, you and I were at Washington and we finished it off in Oregon uh over a two week span and that really sealed the deal. Watching watching the other guys on top of this like hill stone mountain mm-hmm. thing i'm glad the other guy is getting some i think it's getting some recognition these days because it, it deserves it it deserves it. that is a hilarious it's movie. a great movie it's so quotable yeah, yeah it's super quotable but i just i don't know i guess i i Will never Ferrell, i never i never hear about and, it but no on, online yeah. i do always see a reference so it's like it's like everyone knows that this is a good movie but no one talks about michael it. keaton but you know, is guys, one of those know. shining like just, side characters yeah. that just makes that movie don't you know, go chasing waterfalls don't go, go chasing, chasing waterfalls come, come on guys. man i don't want no Chief. scrubs come on come on tlc again i don't we don't want no scrubs right now looks like, <laughs> looks like they put a varnish on this uh for you um, <laughs> Skater oh. needs his cat. Yep. <laughs> we will have an RG in your car. Uh, that is a great movie. Yep. Skater needs some walk around. Shake your dick out. This pissy contest is over. <laughs> there goes my hero by yep. Foo Fighters. Yep. That, Watching it, Aim for the Bushes. That, yeah. ma- that movie probably made that song one of my favorites. <laughs> right after that. I, pff, it's oh. a new light. All right. Should we move on? Actually, can I? I, have, I brought a runner up just in case. I well, was let's a, save that for after. Sure. Let's save that after. Yeah, I was afraid that um, Ca- uh, Carter had brought the same thing that I did. So I, I, I knew I had to bring a second. Well, sa- save that for later. Yeah, I'll save I, it for later. Um, Zach, could you actually pour me some water? Yep. And then, so we'll go on to, I guess it's my turn now to tell a story and then reveal my pick for today. Um, so camping for me has always kind of been a part of my summer's... Um, part of the family family friends doing that so it's always filled with good memories and stuff starting back in the capitogma trip that we did um and and any most recently on the last year's trip with washington oregon and checking that out so whiskey for the most part you know obviously has only been somewhat recently that it's been a part of the camping trips and um you know starting with the, the story that i think i'm going to highlight is Probably 2018, we went to Colorado uh, with Henry and Jack and Brooklyn, who's been on the podcast. And um, we were in Colorado. I forget what town. It might have been Tallyride. It might have been, uh, you know, something else. But uh, you know, a couple of days previous, we'd done Black Bear Pass and, and the Forerunner. And, you know, Brooklyn and I yelling at each other, trying to hard not to hide the fact that we're scared that one of us is going to kill the other person <laughs> and be responsible for us rolling down this, <laughs> this trail. <laughs> but so that black bear pass right off the bat has been is a memory for me that i think will last a long time and how much worse it was in person than the videos showed somehow mm-hmm. but uh and then up there now is a, a picture we made a little three by four <laughs> label about of this. one of our uh other members that had him it was a photo taking him uh, his grad party you mean? on his grad party, yeah, his grad party sword and shield sure. and you know saying essentially i never lose and then you can fill in the blank <laughs> essentially maybe you can get creative and come up with your own but we put a label up there because he did not attend uh that trip with us at last minute so we would leave these stickers at locations that we felt you know, like this needs it mm-hmm. so there was a sign that was sticker bombed up there then we put it up there and i would love to know if it was if it's still there i was yeah. just gonna say i i'd love to go back and just see if that yeah. sticker is still there i'd be so worth it to I see hope if it the sticker was still someone. there mm-hmm. but so you know from that point and a couple of days later we um were camping at a higher elevation and there was a turnaround in the camp and Henry had set up his hammock 
Ruckel and I were sleeping in the tent that day, and I think Jack also had a hammock. And um, we were sitting around. I was sitting around a campfire, Henry and Jack, playing my Switch, mm -hmm. playing some Legend of Zelda, mm -hmm. with my back up against the woods. They're talking, and um, the they're like, oh man, the winds, you know, that tarp's moving, really pushing that tarp where, where his hammock is. And he's, um, Jack's talking, and he's like, yeah, man, it sounds like footsteps. And Henry's like, he shines the light over, and he's like, huh, that's weird. Doesn't see anything. And then turns the light off, I'm still playing my switch. And then they say, oh, what the crap. Stand up and start running, not walking, running to the truck. Mm -hmm. And I see that. I'm like, In protection. My back's turned. Something's behind me. Yep. It was like a bear or a cougar or something. <laughs> and I, I get up and beat Jack and uh, Henry to the truck, open the back door of his truck, filled with our food for the camping trip, breads, <sighs> hot dog bun, chips, and I just dive in the back and shut the door. And they get in the front seat. And they're like, oh, my God, did you see that? Did you see that? And they're like, yeah, yeah, I saw that. And I'm like, like, what was what? it? What, what did we see? And then Brooklyn, who is setting up his sleeping accommodations in the tent, peeks his head out. He's like, what? Can What's we... going on? <laughs> and we're in the truck. And Henry rolls the window <laughs> down like three inches like, get to your car. <laughs> Because he was parked in front of us, and we wanted to uh, spin around and turn some lights on. And he, you just see the terror in his face. <laughs> like he doesn't know what's going on. He's trying to process it. He just knows that all of a sudden we were sitting in the fire not too far away from the tent, and we're gone. We're like 50 feet away in a second. And he's freaked out. And he's like, oh. So he's looking around, shining the light, opens the tent. Runs, starts running into his car, and I have to say that. So previously on this trip, his forerunner had developed a issue electrical uh, gremlins with the car alarm system. So if you had opened the door, even if it wasn't locked and stuff, it would set the alarm off, and it was very annoying. So from that point on, he was disconnecting his batteries. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now now then people know that. So he runs to his car, opens the door, gets in. Doesn't start it. Henry's like, what the heck? Why isn't he starting this thing and pulling out? And uh, then he opens the door, looks out, kind of looks around, makes sure nothing's over the, like by him. And then you see the hood pop. Yep. And they're like, oh my God. He disconnected the battery. Stupid. <laughs> stupid. And I, I still don't know what, like, what they saw. Right. No idea. So he like looks around some, again. like snuffle off a guess or something. Exactly. Opens it, it up, or just a big squirrel. He's <laughs> half out of the car, half in the car, just looking around. Runs to the front of the car, opens the hood quick, throws the battery cables back on, shuts the hood, bang, gets in the car, shuts the door, turns the car on, and then we just start driving in a circle for a little bit. And then we're like, all right, we don't see anything. And then he stopped, we get out, and we're like, what was that? We're like, what? <laughs> Brooklyn's like, what's going on? What's going on? We're like, he's like, I don't know. Just start, just start your car and drive around. So they're not telling us anything. We got, we get out finally, stop the car, and essentially to this day, I'm not 100 percent sure on what they saw. Mm -hmm. I've heard two different things because when they were there, they said it was probably nothing. It was probably just something jumping down from the top branch down and moved yep. it. And, but then Jack said later that what they saw was something bigger and they're like that's not what you said we were camping he's like mm -hmm. yeah i think henry kind of was just saying stuff to you know downplay it so we slept in the car that night yeah yep given, given. <laughs> so, <laughs> brooklyn was just completely scared out of his mind and yep. so that was you know one of the camping experiences i have and uh now we're gonna get to the whiskey too. Log of, that was actually i think the uh, log and 16 was on that trip was it but that is not the one that I selected. Do the distiller's edition? I will go get what I selected. Okay. It's distiller's edition. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just going to guess it's logable of some kind. Well, that's kind of what I'm we're assuming. Friends, we're great friends of log here. 
Log is good. Yeah, I'll, I'll fill in a quick story. Log is good. While we Log is good uh, and stuff. With that Henry character, him and another guy and I went to Washington. We flew there, rented a truck, drove to Olympia National Park. It just stayed in this this little campground in the mountains um, of Olympia National, and it was a very it was kind of glamping. You know, we, we set up hammocks and we had a, it's all campground. There's a bathroom there and stuff and public water. It's fun, you know. It was just fun, nice day trip. And uh, I did not prepare well. My hammock was not insulated. My sleeping bag was not insulated. We bought all this stuff in Seattle because of free same-day shipping from Amazon because it's in Seattle. So I just bought I bought all the wrong stuff. Slept on a freezing ha- freezing hammock, and I just stayed up all night. I went. I ended up going to that bathroom and playing my 3DS all night long so that it wasn't cold. And woke up, and then we went down back to the main town, and I had the biggest. I ate the most I've ever eaten for breakfast in my entire life that day. Even though the waitress is like, are you done yet? <laughs> no! It was, like, it was like four big pancakes, two omelets, you know, two sides of hash browns. I was starving. I just couldn't stop eating. And, and I finally, she looked into his eyes and Finally on the last pancake, I was like halfway look. through. I'm like, you know what? I, I'm, I'm done now. I'm done. She's like, I, I'm done you now. Want- Separate checks? <laughs> yes. And then, and then the other two were like, yeah, we want separate checks. <laughs> this kid spent like a hundred bucks on food. Yep. Okay. All right. That's time. So yeah, it doesn't look like a log bottle. My bag is in a brown... My bag. My bottle is in a brown paper bag right now, so they don't know yet. Was that Bob today? Let's see here. No, I did not buy it. I just stole your bag. For like 10. Our yeah. bag. Our bag. Oh, Oh, Ard Bake 10. Yep, okay. Dylan has specifically said that he's never had Laphroaig before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have I, said, somehow I have not had Laphroaig. Yeah. Um, I, I was going to buy that one. I thought maybe you would have tried it. You know. So for me, the Log 116 still holds, I think, more memories mm-hmm. and stuff. But from the standpoint of... Strictly campfire. Strictly flavor whiskey. profile, I think, and the quintessentialness mm-hmm. of... Camping, I think the Ardbeg with a little bit more smoke stands yeah. up to yeah. everything a yep. little bit nicer. The Log Bowl and 16, I, if I had the choice between the two, I'm going to go with the Log Bowl and 16 100% of the time. Yeah, but how much is the 10? Price 40, wise. 45. Exactly. Almost yeah. half the price. Yeah, the 16 was what, 80? It's actually only 70. You spent 70? That's a good price. Yeah. yeah. That's the stock. I, I'd buy that. I, it was I'd probably go buy on, that again. <clears throat> on sale, quote unquote. Oh, it was on sale. Okay. So, At total. you yeah. know, the, the Arbag 10 for me doesn't have the same memory as the 16, as I've said, but we're going to do a cork pop on this. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Of course, some of my first. It's a lot clearer. It means it's been sitting. No, it's just clear. Ah, it means it's been sitting. But I've never brought this one camping, but I've, I've definitely, I definitely bring this one camping. Most of the time, it's log of 116. Something I think special. a log would be best camping. Back in $70, is like, that's a lot of spending on whiskey. Now it's like... Especially to share with, you know, $20. Like... That sounds pretty reasonable. <laughs> so. Oh, the log of... Or the art big. Hmm. That's, like, that's like sour off of those. That's... Yeah. This is a... This is a... It's like tar- yeah, well used tart. bottle, yeah. So there is a lot of air, yeah. So that could be. We just had a fresh crack of the sixteen, and then, yeah. you know, yeah, this ten is almost gone. By the way, yeah. Everyone watching, there's like one, maybe two glasses left. Might have to kill it tonight, maybe. It mm-hmm. smells like a sour patch kid. Yeah, it does somehow. Uh huh. With a little bit of smoke. Gummy, it's like, it's like a gummy sour patch. Gummy kid sweetness that you like smoked. Mm. You left it by the fire. Yeah, like nice. you left a nice lingering aftertaste. Or like skewered a gummy, like a uh, like a sour patch kid, and then just kind of like slow roasted it over the fire. Yeah, it tastes a little off, but I don't know if yeah. it's just I think it's, it's, it's cause, yeah. Well, it's because a we came from the log, and b the air. It's it's yeah. very light, even more so than usual. Yeah, I think. Um, hold on. I love that it turned into the beginning half a review of the eleven to the sixteen. By complete accident. Mm-hmm. 
And I love that all three of us picked Isla's Isla scotches. scotches. That's yeah. And, uh, Good job, Scotland. Keep doing what you do. Making camping trips fun and tolerable yeah. for adults. Yeah. Just yeah. don't. If they made like cask strength or higher proof scotches, maybe the some of those memories would be forgotten just because of how much, maybe how much you, yeah, how much you drink. Maybe, you know? maybe for some people. I just remember this was good. Yeah, this was really good. I, I had a lot of great time. Fun. What happened? I don't know. I have no idea. It was fun though. There was there was a fire. It was hot. No, I Tell us about sleep. your camping trip. Well, we set up camp. Oh. Um, and then cracked we open a bottle. Cracked open, and then I woke up. And I woke up. <laughs> What about the other nights? It was all the same. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, then we drove to this another really beautiful spot. Weren't um, you camping for oh, two weeks? Oh, how was it? Like in the evening? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> the dog is on. Yeah, the, the dog is making some weird noises. Oh man, I. Good stuff. We're almost at an hour. You know, I l- love these longer episodes. Let me just go over real quick what I brought. What I brought. It's oh, like, we gotta get your sample. Yeah, your. Uh, so what do we call this? A. Uh, it's a bonus. This is a runner-up. It's a bonus. Runner-up. I'll, I'll say And bonus. it's not an Isla Scotch. <gasps> what? Disqualified? No, it's Japanese. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I want to guess. Well, I already saw the bottle. This Ooh. is... This is the... They brought back the nine-year age statement of the Knob Creeks, and then this is also the 120 proof of mm. that. So, I want to do a... I think I told you. Yes, please. I yep. want to do a comparison so, at some point. So that, I already like... I love the no age statement Knob Creek. I already love the nine year age statement Knob Creek. And now they have a 120 proof version. That's not like. Oh, not, this is the single barrel? Yeah, this is the single barrel reserve. Oh, I thought proof. this was a regular nine year small batch. No, no, this is not. Oh. Actually, I saw a lot of those today. So, yeah, no, these are the fully stocked. This, this was fully essentially stocked. the other one that we brought on the uh, camping trip that you and I in Brooklyn went yep. last time. Yep. So Obviously, like, it was a single barrel, so it's slightly different. But yeah, I saw this. So I'm like, I have to have it. And this was really good. Knob Creek it's just a, like the Knob Creek yeah. that I have. This is a great. Um, yeah. But I have the, it's like the You MGM, have the store pick. MGM store pick, but it was like, mm-hmm. I don't know if it was somehow. Uh, <laughs> it thrashed our pallets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the only redeeming fact about this is that the 120 yeah. will bring the um, heat to cut yeah. through. Yeah. You guys want to try it real quick? Yes, please. Absolutely. Um, anyway, one thing I hate is Knob Creek's, they put like strapping tape on it and then they put. I think it's the other way. Even still. Oh, yeah. Okay. There you go. There was so so much difficulty. Um, I have the... So it's 120 proof... Single barrel. Single barrel Knob Creek, Mm -hmm. but it's the MGM store pick. um, What? what, From Brit's Pub. In Minneapolis? In Minneapolis. So a local local bar. You didn't bring that with by chance, did you? I did not, unfortunately. No, that's Um, fine. So I was just very intrigued by that because I didn't know if it was because Brits needed a way to get rid of it or if MGM was just kind of like, oh, this is something that could be – it's very well received by this. Well, generally Brits, they can't legally sell it because they don't have a liquor license distributing. So that's the fact. That's why it's at the MGM. Ah, uh, I see. So, I mean, they're, quick, they're quick technically – Quick pop, guys. They tech – Okay. Synthetic corks, man. That's a seven, I would say, not quite eight. But I give it a six. Um, yes, yeah, so that, that's what you have to go through a store. But they pro- they are the ones that selected the barrels. So they tried it, sampled it, and then contracted it out probably to MGM to. And then, and then the MGM can side. sell to them. Well, the, anyone can go in and buy it, so they can tell people like you know customers like, hey, we got a, a pick from Knob Creek. Available only at MGM, and once it's gone, it's gone because it's single barrel. So yeah, but I mean, but I mean, it's like I I didn't know if they were like able to source it and then they could sell right. it in the restaurant. That's more. What oh I mean. yeah, it's possible. I yeah, I don't know because with like Brits being a pub, like they might. Can I see that bottle? That is a nice. That's bottle. the new design. I've never seen this before. Oh, it just smells like smoke. I can't get the scotch smell out of my glass. I smell some of the bourbon. Uh huh. Age nine years. Yeah. That's too close. Yeah, I mean, you know, the Isla is still in the glass. So. Knob, Knob Creek is... Um, Can't tell you what it exactly smells like, but... Probably tastes good. Is this leaking at the bottom, or is it... Mm-hmm. It can't be. I'm going to pour it here, is it, like, dripped down the side of okay. the glass? Uh, oh, Knob- yeah. So caramely. Mm. Grapey. 
Tastes like grapes. This doesn't burn at all. And I don't know why, because it should. I get, I get lots. Not not like throat burn, but yeah, the back of my tongue is very lit up. Yeah, but it's not yeah. like, it's not hot. burning it's like not hot, alcohol, spicy. Like cask strength no, alcohol. It's not. And I don't know if it's just because we did the scotch first. Maybe, but this isn't like. This is very nice. Yeah, very good. Mm. It stands up to the. Stands up to the scotches very well, I think. Delicious. It's much sweeter. Very sweet. I'm no, trying the, to like the not get discernible notes from the difference between like caramel apple. This, I, I mean, the, cherry, uh, different from the regular Knob Creek. I'm trying to we gotta do side by side. I think. I think I, so. I, I, think I we'll, said we'll I said this we'll to you guys later. off air, but uh, I would I want to do now that uh, I personally have I don't have the nine year small batch, but I have the normal small batch. Easily, we can easily attain the nine year uh, age statement small batch now that it's mm. released. Um, but now I have the twelve year. And I recently purchased the Knob Creek 15 do, do, year. Do, do. 15 years, baby. I was pretty psyched about that. Mm-hmm. So we'll have to do that and maybe compare uh, this single barrel. Maybe if Carter's willing to bring his at some point and yeah. do a Knob well, Creek thing, run. Well, we could do a Knob Creek run. Plus, I got that new Knob Creek today. Which technically mm-hmm. isn't bourbon. I mean, it is a rye. What did you? It's America with the okay. But... Yeah, it's not, well, it's not, it's not comparable we do to the other kicks and giggles, but it's not the it's same. It's not going to be the same because it's not going to have the same no. flavor profile. But, but that's for next time. That's next time. I Thank suppose... you for listening to this episode of the Extraordinary Gentleman Podcast. We hope you enjoyed uh, reliving our experiences with camping and drinking while camping. And I hope you have excellent I, whiskey recommendations please, now. I hope you have please an extraordinary do not listen to our camping day. advice. But maybe you should listen to our drinking advice. Thanks a lot. Enjoy.